Two and a half years ago, my brothers and I set up a 180 gallon custom aquarium for the Chicago Bulls head coach, Billy Donovan. We set up this tank with some of his favorite cichlids, including the Jack Dempsey, but we were always missing one cichlid that was high on his list of must haves, and today we're going to fix that. Over the years, we've helped maintain this aquarium. Quinn lives closer, so he handles most water changes and cleanings, while I stop by for occasional filter cleanings or bigger updates. And today is one of those big updates. The aquarium has been doing really well for the most part with a group of Central and South American cichlids that have coexisted and done great together in this tank. Some of them have gotten very large, like the Firemouth, the Texas, the Chocolate Cichlids, and even a couple of the Duophagus. And we're very excited to add more to this tank today. Alright guys, so we got the order in from Imperial Tropicals, and there are some logistical issues here because we have to get it to Billy Donovan, but I also have family events tonight because of the holidays so the plan is to unbox these get them into my tank to actually quarantine them and then we'll get them over to billy's later on so it'll all make sense a little bit later on but let's go ahead and check them out as usual from imperial travels very well boxed up here the fish bags are still warm and the fish are moving and look healthy. So let's show the first. First one here is a big guy. We'll get a better look at him later on. This is a big Viejas and Spillum, and it's about five to six inches. It looks more like six inches to me. This guy's gonna be awesome. And then the main event, if you don't like the Vieja enough, is a Tiger Oscar. So this guy should be about three to four inches, and as you can see, has some really cool orange coloration to him and uh, we've been trying to get an Oscar into Billy's tank for a very long time so this is going to be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and get both of these guys into his tank. I'm also going to be giving him one of my fish later in the video so like I said it'll all make sense later in the video but let's go ahead and get these into my tank. So here are the VA House and Spillum and the Tiger Oscar in my 75 gallon tank. This is my tank with the electric blue Acara so Obviously not the ideal quarantine, but they're just gonna be in this tank temporarily. Looks like the electric blue car are definitely checking them out and deciding if they wanna try and pick a fight. But the Vieja is definitely much bigger, so I was a little bit worried he'd go after my fish. Luckily, nothing went wrong in the few day span that they were in this tank. And a few days later, it was just time to catch them and get them over to Billy's, along with my Nicaraguan cichlid. If you remember an update I did a few weeks back, I mentioned that I had this Nicaraguan cichlid, which is a little bit out of place. I have a South American cichlid tank here, and it is the one Central American, so it was just a little bit out of place, and I just always felt like it would do better in Billy's tank setup. And because it is one of my fish that I've seen grow, I know that it is a healthy fish and it's not too aggressive, so I know it will do perfect in Billy's tank. Okay, so today is the day that I had to catch the fish. I currently have the Vieja and the Oscar caught and in the bucket, but now I am going to catch the Nicaraguan out of my 180. And the reason I had to do it this way was really because of the holidays. We have been looking for this combination of the Vieja and Spillum and a good looking Oscar for a while, and they just happen to both be available on Imperial Tropical's website at the same time right before Christmas. So we had to jump on that right away for Billy, but because of Christmas Eve and Christmas, the shipment of the fish came a little later than expected. They actually shipped out three days after Christmas, and then it came on the day that we actually had a family holiday party that me and Quinn had to get to in the afternoon. So the shipment came a little bit later in the day than expected, and a day or two later. So it kind of created a logistical nightmare for me, but I went ahead and made the best of the situation and put them into my 75 gallon tank with the electric blue Acara. It was just a temporary home for about three days and they did just fine in there. Luckily they didn't pick a fight with any of my fish and it was just kind of a nice little quarantine for them. But now it is time to try and catch the Nicaraguan cichlid out of the 180. It's probably gonna take me forever, so hope for the best here. Let's get to it. So I thought that was gonna take me all morning, but with a little stroke of luck and some skill, swoop that thing out and I got the Nicaraguan along with the two other fish. They are ready to go to Billy's. Let's go. Look who it is. That's snowy New Year's Eve. 
Let's get some fish. All right, so this is the tank as it is today. Some of the fish are just hiding because we turn on the lights. But front and center, that geophagus vinai has definitely grown and looking great. We have a fire mouth, Texas cichlid, convict, geophagus, top hose. And then the chocolate cichlid looks huge too. Now time to get the new fish into the tank. We got three new fish for them, and I think they're gonna go well. Ready, Quinn? It's gonna be awesome. All right, first one to go in. It's the Nicaraguan. The Nicaraguan. And this one's got some pretty good size on it already. Remember, I've had this for probably three or four years. Oh yeah, look at that guy. It's gonna do great in his new home. Her new home. But because it already has good size, and has been in a 1AD like my tank at home, should be just fine in the tank with and some other. From the 180 at your home, I'm sure she's already enjoying the uneven sand <laughs> that's in this tank. And she'll dig sometimes, so she might even contribute to that in the future, but already good color even when she's stressed out from the move. Next up, I think is the Vieja Sinspillum. It's about five to six inches, and uh, there it goes. Probably very stressed. <laughs> but once he uh, or she comes out, gets acclimated, we'll have some really good color. I'll put a picture on the screen of what they look like when they're a fully grown adult and they are stunning. So I think we'll do really well with this mix of South and Central American cichlids. All right, and then last but certainly not least is the Tiger Oscar, which is a really tricky fish to add to a big cichlid tank like this. Sometimes they can be Aggressive, sometimes not aggressive, and there he goes. But this one has some really great patterning and color on them. Still a pretty small Tiger Oscar, only about three or four inches, but will grow very quickly as long as he kind of makes it in his first couple weeks here. So we'll have to keep a close eye on that one. I know Billy really was looking forward to this one. We started, uh, when we started this tank, we actually did have a Tiger Oscar involved. Um, it unfortunately did not make the initial acclimation, so really hoping that this guy can uh, survive the first couple weeks and then they get big super fast, so it'll bring some awesome activity and personality to this tank. So he's already looking pretty sweet too. And it's probably the second cichlid on Billy's list that he wanted outside of the Jack Dempsey first. Mm -hmm. He definitely wanted a Tiger Oscar. We just had to figure out the best way to add one logistically and we wanted to find one at a trusted source like Imperial Tropicals that would have a healthy one. So hopefully all goes well. We'll definitely be providing updates on this tank very soon as these fish grow and get acclimated. Okay, so we've got the new fish in the tank and they're just acclimating. We tried to get some good footage of them, but they were kind of hiding out. We will definitely be providing updates on this tank, especially the Oscar in the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you next time.